Welcome to the Internet Empowerment Series of Video Tutorials, hosted by author Deltina Hay and sponsored by Plum Web Solutions and Drury University's Social Media Certificate Program. I'm Deltina Hay, and these tutorials are based on my book, The Social Media Survival Guide, already in its second edition. Visit my blog at socialmediapower.com for more social media tips and learn more about my book and my availability for speaking engagements at deltina.com. Neither Deltina Hay nor her sponsors are affiliated with any of the services or tools highlighted in this series. In this session, we discuss creating a Facebook like box, which will be a widget you can set on your website or your blog that will help people to like or become a fan of your Facebook page. So what we're going to do in this session is go through the process of gathering the code that you will place on your blog or your website. And I'm going to use these two examples. First of all, I'm going to use an example from WordPress.org. That's a self-hosted WordPress site. And we're going to place it in a sidebar over here. And then we're also going to place it on a website using Dreamweaver, uh, Dreamweaver as an example. So the first thing you want to do is go to the URL of your Facebook fan page. Make certain that you're logged into Facebook, and then you'll click on Edit Page. And once we're here, we see several options over here on the left sidebar. We're going to click on Marketing. And then we're going to click on Add a Like Box to your website. So what the process is going to be here is that we're going to choose the options that we want on our like box and then it's going to preview the box for us and then once we're happy with it we're going to generate the code by clicking the get code button then we're going to copy that code over onto our blog or our website so one of the first things you need to do is to change the URL here the page URL to your page URL Now once you've changed it to the proper page URL, you're going to see a preview of what the widget will look like if you didn't change any of the options. The first thing we're going to do is make it more narrow because our sidebars aren't really that big on our examples. Now you can also choose a light color scheme or a dark color scheme. This is what the dark color scheme looks like. We're going to go ahead and use the light color scheme in this example. Now the show faces example will show the friends, the faces or profile images of the people who are fans of your page. If you don't want that to show, you would just unclick that option. And then the show stream means that it's going to show the latest activity from your page. Since in this example I want to, I want to create a smaller widget or Facebook like box. I'm going to uncheck that. So that what we have is the name of our page, the like button that people can click on to become a fan of your page, and then just some faces of people who are actually fans of this page. Now the show header means that the find us on Facebook header will go away. So once you're happy with the layout of your fan box and you want to click on get code. Now what you're going to get when you click that are two types of code. The first type is iframe. Now if you know that your site or your platform accepts iframe code then go ahead and copy that. If you're uncertain you can try it. If it doesn't work you can come back and get the other code. But the the FBML code typically works with just about any platform, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that for our example. Okay, now once we're happy with our box and we've copied our code, now we need to go over to our website or our blog and place that code. Okay, so here is the self-hosted or WordPress.org site that I'm going to place this widget on. I'm going to go to the appearance widgets area of the site and I want to place that widget just underneath the social media widget the follow us widget that I already have on this on this sidebar or this primary widget area 
Now to place this code, I'm going to scroll down until I see the text widget. I'm going to pull it up underneath that follow us widget and pop it open if it doesn't automatically. Then I'm going to place or paste that code into the text box and click Save. So that now when I view the site, my like box should show up in that sidebar area. And so it does. Now I want to stress that this process is not going to work if you have a blog hosted with WordPress.com. WordPress.com will strip out any any code, any Java code or any any other type of code. So in order to have these types of custom widgets on your website, if you have a WordPress powered website, you need to download and install the software from WordPress.org or create your own self-hosted WordPress site. Okay, now we're going to take a look at how you might do this on a regular website. So here's the website we're going to use to place our like box onto. And it's going to go underneath this LinkedIn badge. So we're going to pop open Dreamweaver. We already have the page loaded up. Over here on the left is the code view. Over here on the right is the is a design view. So we want to go over to the design view and place the cursor where we want our Facebook like box to appear. And then we're going to go over here and you see that the cursor is here. And we're going to replace that little space code with our Facebook code. And then go over to design view to see what it look how it looks. Now you notice that it actually doesn't show up here. And the reason for that is because we have to look at the live view because it's actually pulling um, information from Facebook onto our website. That's what actually makes it a widget. So if you go up here to live view, then you can actually see the website as it's going to look uh, in, in its live state. And so if you're happy with it, then we can go ahead and save the changes and view it as it would look on a browser. So that's all there is to creating a Facebook like box on your website or your blog. We thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in enhancing your resume with a social media certificate from an accredited university, then visit socialmediacertificate.net for information on the online courses I teach for Drury University. Please also visit our sponsor, Plum Web Solutions. That's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com.